Hey guys, welcome back to Motorcycle Maintenance Channel. Today we're going to show you how to put on mad racing case savers on this Z Kawasaki Z900 motorcycle. Stay tuned. So the first step in putting our um, case savers on the motorcycle is figuring out which bolts to undo. So we're going to undo this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. So we'll start with these two on this side. And it's an eight millimeter socket. And over here. There we go. And we will no longer be using the eight millimeter bolts since our case savers come with their own their own bolts. And then these two over here. And these won't be on here very tight at all. These bolts, if you're doing the factory bolts in your, in your clutch cover, they're going to get torqued down to 12 Newton meters. However, the specifications that came with the crank saver, with the crank case cover, or the crank case saver, their factory specifications are 11 Newton meters. Right. Now that we have those, now we're going to set up our thing. Now to set it out, we're going to put feed in the, this bolt, and we're just going to back it with a little piece of tape to hold it forward, like so. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to put a, a little washer on the inside of it. Just like that. We'll go ahead and do that for all the bolt hole locations. I do like the, this particular case saver is Mad Racing. I'll say that I am impressed so far with their build quality. They're a more economical case saver than, say, Woodcraft, which, of course, is going to be like your top of the line case saver. But um, compared to the RNG case savers that I used on my motorcycle, the build quality is a lot better. And RNG is a pretty well known name, but I was not impressed with how that worked. The fitment and everything. The fitment on this is perfect for, for this motorcycle. And they use the same 8mm nut. Which is nice. On mine, I think we also had eight millimeter uh, bolts, but the case, the RNG case saver, came with Allen bolts instead. Which I thought, you know, why not make a match the stock bolts, similar to what this company did. And now we'll just line it up. 
all go into their respective holes. Take that off and we'll just start tightening it. You know, with our hands, no tools. And we want to tighten in a crisscross pattern. So we'll do this one and then we'll go opposite of it. And do this one down here. And then we will tighten with our torque wrench. And our torque wrench is already preset to 11 Newton meters. Remember, if it's the mad racing bolt, it's 11 Newton meters. If you're actually replacing the clutch cover itself, the Kawasaki recommends 12 Newton meters for those. Honestly, somewhere in between 11 and 12 is probably fine for these as well. Just kind of slowly tighten them before we reach full torque spec. And now the next time our friend goes down, he'll probably be able to ride his bike back home as he won't punch a hole into his stator cover or his clutch cover with some of these nice case savers. Of course, he will have to most likely purchase a new case saver, which probably won't be as expensive. There we go. There's one piece. Now we will start with the second piece, which is the Let's just make sure that those are the right bolts. There's four out of five of these have to come out yeah, right there. Um, this is your crankshaft cover. So this plate here will have to be removed whenever you do your valve inspection. We could probably fast forward through this stuff here. All right, and just like before, we're going to set our bolts through and then our washers and then stick it in. go. Now our washers.
All right, and now we'll go ahead and do the other side. So I'll put the case tuber right there. And with the case saver, we're going to have <clears throat> four bol bolts that aren't factory. So we'll have four factory bolts left over after we're done. So we'll see if Mad Racing gave us an eight millimeter, like the stock ones. Oh, they did. Good. I like that. I would highly, rec highly recommend you don't get an RNG case saver. I know they have glowing reviews online and there's YouTube videos saying what wonderful things they are. I didn't have good luck with it on my CBR. I'm not really tightening these down. I'm just kind of putting them on there finger tight. When I tighten it, it'll be in a crisscross pattern. Okay. Should have four of these guys left over. Let's tighten it. this guy down to 12 Newton meters. Start here. And before, I'm not even going to bring it to full torque. I'm just going to slowly tighten each one on each side. very important that these are installed with a sensitive torque wrench because these these bolts are designed to snap if they get over torqued so that they don't crack your engine casing okay we have now repaired his damaged stator cover put these covers on his clutch cover his crankcase cover and his crate case. Um, so that way, if he drops it on the other side, he won't have an oil leak like he had here. And just for all of you viewers at home to know, when he did leak oil, we went and, and meticulously cleaned it up off the road so as to not cause another accident. Um, and I, I think that it's, a good idea of your just to be a good Samaritan if you have a similar accident on the road um, pick up your oil don't leave a booby trap for another motorcyclist to come along and, and go flying through the dirt 